Here we are at the Trans-Alaska Pipeline north of Fairbanks. And uh, this is an engineering marvel that was designed to transport oil from Prudhoe Bay on the Arctic Ocean to Valdez, which is the northernmost ice-free port in the United States. This pipeline was built from 1975 to 1977 at a cost at that time of $8 billion. And this pipeline transports oil 800 miles. And in that 800 mile path, it goes over mountains, across rivers, across faults, and areas of permafrost. And because of that, the pipeline has to have a lot of specially designed features to it. So first of all, much of the pipeline, though not all of it, is above ground. And that's because the oil moves through the pipeline hot. And this would melt permafrost. And so it has to be kept above the ground so the permafrost isn't melted. On top of that, you'll see on this pipeline above me these interesting fins. Those are a passive cooling mechanism that serves to cool the ground beneath the pipeline and ensure that the permafrost stays frozen and the pipeline has a firm foundation. Now, one of the neatest things about the pipeline is uh, Alaska it has a lot of earthquakes, and so it had to be designed to withstand earthquakes. So the whole pipeline is designed to be able to move and uh, kind of move back and forth on this foundation, and where it crosses major faults, like the Denali Fault, uh, the pipeline's actually on sliders. It's on these Teflon sliders, so if there's an earthquake, it can move like a slinky and not break and it actually has successfully survived several earthquakes without breaking and so right here we have this engineering marvel uh, crossing the entire great state of Alaska